Hey guys, what's here? welcome back to a, another Spectate video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to smash the boosting technique of uh, hard carry jungle support top lane. I made a video on this a little while back because I got roasted by it. It was Twitch jungle and Kale top. It's a really ridiculous strategy. They do this over in China. It's a crazy boosting strat where you just have like a hyper carry in the jungle uh, and then you have a support in a solo lane and the jungler comes to the solo lane and soaks up all that golden experience, just, just nicks all the top lane farm basically uh, and then just power farms and becomes a boss and then you have like loads of like, support for them as the game goes on and it just is it's disgusting. Now I'm going to teach you guys how to fucking smash that strategy, okay? This is a game I just played in the solo queue just now. Uh, I'm Diamond 2. This guy, okay, I, I told you this was a boosting strategy. This is what I mean. 45 wins, 8 losses, okay? Look at his KDAs, 25 and 4, 9 and 0, 25 and 3, 16 and 4, 25 and 7, he lost. 14 and 5, 17 and 1, 20, 0 and 0. And then 6 and 10. I'm going to show you the 6 and 10 game, and I'm going to show you guys how you make this guy go 6 and 10, okay? Because it's not easy to do this yet, as you could imagine, because, you know... Uh, it's it's a pretty effective strategy, <laughs> okay? Now, I'm not saying this is to brag, okay? Uh, this guy, I'm sure, is, is actually a better League of Legends player than me. You know, I, could, I couldn't do what he's doing. But if you come up against something like this, the cheesy strat, where you have the hyper carry jungler and the support in the top lane, I want to show you today how you the strategy that you use to beat it. Because it's a weird strategy uh, that's uh, you're probably not used to playing versus, and as such, it requires like a weird adaptation of your play style to beat it. So first things first, I'm playing Zin this game. Uh, Zin is good in the jungle in general. Uh, all you really need in the jungle uh, is the ability to fight uh, in the 2v2, specifically with, with uh, your top plus jungle versus their top and jungle. Now, you don't really need a, like anything special at the 1v1 specifically. Zin happens to be very good at the 1v1, which is nice, but you need to be able to 2v2, and that's not that hard to do because the enemy top is basically useless because they're just a support. I mean, she started coin for goodness sake, okay? And she's got heal. So, first things first, I'm going to do my level 3 clear and then invade the enemy jungler. I'm always invading this guy because I want to be able to stop him before he can get rolling because that's what he's all about. Okay, he's all about getting snowballing, getting rolling, so we want to stop that before it happens. And this is what their first path generally is. They'll hard farm until uh, like, going from bot side to top side, they hard farm and then they, they would Lulu would let this push in, and then uh, Yi would soak up these minion, this minion wave. So you want to invade early and get that down there. So I got the first one there because I invaded him, to be honest. Uh, you know, that's just standard. Easy peasy invade, lemon squeezy. Don't do this scuttle crab before you invade. Just get level 3 and invade. You could probably even invade at level 2, depending who you're playing. Zin could do that. Jarvan could do that. Etc, etc. So that's a good start. By the way, there's something wrong with this Zin skin. <laughs> uh, it, 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 he, he walks around like a weirdo in this skin. I don't understand it. It's bugged. In, in spectator, at least. In, when I'm playing it, it's fine. But when I'm specking, it's a little bit strange. So, good start. We're going to skip forward all this stuff. By the way, take the Gromp. Take that Gromp. When I invaded, I took his Gromp because no one's going to stop me taking that. I want to take his jungle camps because I want to limit the way... Uh, the amount of gold this guy can have so I, I can stop him from, from kind of powering up. Now, again, I'm heading back topside. I've been told that this loot doesn't have flash, doesn't have heal. If I had good map awareness, I'd know that by myself, but I'm bad at this game. So uh, I've had to take that knowledge from my laner. Either way, I was kind of prepping potentially for a dive here. Uh, but I'm also sitting around here because, again, there's a, this is going to be pushing into, Ma into Lulu, which means Master Yi might come topside to try and try and take this, which you know, is what this whole strategy is about. So I do, I, I sit here and I wait for him because I think he's gonna come in and he is gonna come in. So now we just chill out, we let them push this out. Uh, they're probably gonna get greedy and take the next minion wave as well because that's what this strategy does, soaks everything up. He thinks he's safe because he's got his pocket Lulu there and boom, I'm here, I'm waiting for it. Camille gets the engage off. Nice cue by Master Yi to dodge the incoming uh, CC and boom, he's died two times in five minutes. That's what we want to do. We're, we're limiting his ability to snowball this game and his ability to get income. That's all we want to do. So we're just going to kill him. Uh, it does help that, you know, the Camille Zin is a very strong 2v2. But like I said, you don't necessarily need to worry about your matchup. It, it, you know, it helps a bit. Uh, we don't really need to hard worry about it because you will probably win the 2v2 when the enemy laner is support right the enemy top lane is the support 
so I'm gonna go back here, buy some items. Challenging Smite is really important. I need to be able to win these 1v1s. I need this skirmish power. So Red Smite, 100% purchase here. Warrior Enchant, first item as well. That's gonna be our first back. Uh, and then uh, I want to also emphasize that my win condition in this game is basically just shutting down Master Yi. But it's not just that, it's also uh, enabling the people on our team who are good at fighting carries, uh, getting them ahead. So what that is, is Camille basically, Camille and myself. So that's why I'm just going to be playing around topside and it also plays into the whole uh, stop Zin strategy. Now notice as well here that even though I want to go topside, what I'm essentially doing is I'm clearing my bot side jungle, working my way topside, and then when my bot side jungle respawns, uh, I kind of time that with my recall so that I, I recall, run bot side, take this bot side jungle, uh, but don't really spend much time around here, I just take it and then kind of bugger off again. So we can see this time I've, I, I, I'm timing this around the blue buff spawn. It's spawning in like 20 seconds or so still, so I'm just going to check for the Scuttle Crab here as well and uh, see whether that this is up. It is up, so I can take this one. Uh, what would be nice for me to do here as well is I have a stack of my warding totem to just ward this area here, but Orianna's on the case, so I don't need to do that. You always want to try and ward this like uh, chicken area because it's a, it's a really nice place to get vision. Uh, it, this will give you a, a, lots of valuable information because junglers love taking chicken camp because it gives you a lot of gold, a lot of experience. So you want to ward that up so that you can, you know, spot. You, there's a high chance you'll spot the enemy jungler if you want put that ward down there. So I'm going to take the second blue because I want to, again, just get like this immediate power. I want to get this immediate strength where I'm getting level six early. Right now, I could just be running through my top side here, but I've, I'm, I'm going to make a decision to go for Lux instead because she's pretty easy to gank. Like I'm, even though I'm trying to play around the Zin, uh, sorry, the, the Master Yi, it's Lux. She has no escapes right here. All she's got is her snare for me. She uses that. She's not getting away from me here. Boom. She even uses her flashes and can't get away. When you're playing Zin Zell, by the way, if you want to pick this guy up, I highly recommend you do it. But when you're playing Zin Zell, it's important that you don't just throw out your W. That's the weirdest thing about Zin's kit. If you watch my PB gameplay on Zin, you notice I called it clunky. I'm just going to pause here real, real quick because this is important. But you notice like, I called it clunky and, and weird to use. Uh, the way you want to use it is really to not use it to an extent. Uh, you want to jump in with your E, well ideally run up to them without having to use E so you can then follow up with your E, but still you want to, you want to jump in on them and uh, just use your Q and once you've got the knock up on your Q, then you use your W. That means they can't dodge it, it means that also once they land they're then slowed for a while as well, they're slow from the W. And because you max your W, that's your way of guaranteeing that the damage lands. Plus, you're kind of rooting yourself when you use your W, so it's like when they're running away from you, if you use W, you're standing still, which you don't really want. But if they're knocked up, then you don't have to chase them because they're not going anywhere. So right now, this is important, okay? This is really important. My whole topside jungle's up. So the, the, the default move here and, and the, okay, my brain switched off, let's just play jungle move here is to go to my top side jungle, clear this out and take it. It's not really that bad of an idea, uh, but it's not the way we're going to win this game necessarily because I want to play around getting in the top side jungle and really making this Master Yi's day a pain. Now we know Master is going to be around his top side because his blue buff just respawned and I mean this whole strategy involves him being around top side. So the fact that his buff camp is up top side and... He's playing this strategy where he soaks everything up from top lane. He's probably going to be top side right here. So when we get this pick onto the Lux, what we can do here, which is really important, is to invade his top side jungle. You can see these pings going down. I'm pinging the blue buff because we want to just take things away from Master Yi this game. So I'm pinging the blue. Orana pings the mid lane because she wants to get a push down, get some chip damage. Uh, to be fair, playing that kind of play style, especially on Zin, is not bad. Going for towers is, is good, but I mean... It's, full, it's on full health. They're going to get like, what, a quarter of its health maybe and with one minion wave? It's probably not worth it, honestly. Uh, and I would just much rather just take down this Master Yi as best I can. So I ping the blue buff. I just run straight into it, completely ignoring my topside jungle and just running into his blue camp. There's nothing he can do to stop me, really, because Lux is dead. So I, I go in on it. I start the blue buff just because we want to take it away as soon as possible. Master Yi comes in on me. And he just starts fighting on me because Lulu has moved down first. These guys are duo Q. We have to assume these guys are going to be moving down first. But it doesn't matter because we still win this 2v2. Orianna's in. We still win this 2v2. I do die. But Orianna's here. So she can pick this one up. Nice cheeky flash. Survives kind of low but still gets him. And then when Camille follows through. She she gets the move up here. This is hilarious by the way. 
<laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. Whatever. You know what? I'm gonna... You guys, I'm gonna rewind that and you guys are gonna watch that in real speed. Because that this... I burst out laughing when this happened in real time. It just looks ridiculous. <laughs> what is she doing? I don't know. Anyway, so that's the thing. Invade, put this guy behind. We probably should have got more out of this, but still it's a, it's a one for one. We screw him up. And we don't let him get his blue buff. And as well, uh, he's, you know, we're, we're just making sure he can't farm. You know, the time he spends dead is time he's not farming. This probably should have gone better for us as well, but still, generally speaking, you know... You know what the strategy is, you know the plan guys, that's what we want to do. Uh, our bot lane as well, even though they're 1-0 and 1, they are still down in CS. And as you'll see a bit later on, they start dying 2v2 as well. So, we're not particularly winning bot lane. Mid lane, honestly, is just completely equal. Before that gank mid, it was like probably in Lux's favour. The fact that Lux is down less than 10 CS and has died when a mini wave crashed into it. Yeah, I mean, there you go, it says it. Uh, so yeah, we're not really smashing this game at all in general. So it's not like a, one of those things where people are like, here's how you do this, here's how you win in this situation, here's how you blah, blah, blah. And it just turns out everyone's smashing their lanes. So again, I see Master Yi go for his Gromp. So I'm like, all right, <laughs> I'm going to invade the Gromp. It's all about pressuring the Master Yi on his camps for his farm. Uh, and look at this right here. I mean... Uh, Camille does a weird TP here because I think she thinks that Camille, like, Master Yi is, like, around this area, but whatever. But, I, again, I'm just positioning here. Uh, I don't really want to walk up through the river because I don't know if it's warded. Is it warded? Uh, it's not warded. But they, they back off. Like, as soon as I walk up, they back off. It's really annoying. I did put a pink wall down, but, yeah. Uh, but I had, I've warded this bush, and I see them... But, Two manning for some reason the grump so i'm like pinging let's fucking go boys let's go let's go for it so here we go and look how much damage i have by the way holy crap so much damage too much damage and there you go we get the 2v2 kill this is exactly what we want to do we win these 2v2s force these 2v2s fight them fuck them up that's what it's all about constant invading just invade, invade, invade. Fight, fight, fight. Master Yi is really nothing special at this stage of the game. And they've got a support top lane. She ain't, she ain't gonna do anything. You know, the most annoying thing about this support top lane is the heal. That's, that's it. Heal on a 2v2 skirmish is pretty strong. But outside of that, whatever. So, Master Yi is dead. Lulu's dead. No pressure coming from this top side right now. So, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go and take this Rift Herald. Rift Herald is good. Basically, count Rift Herald as like getting a tower. And especially when First Blood Tower is up, Rift Herald is really nice because it means you can play for the First Blood Tower. Uh, especially when you're uh, kind of getting... Uh, uh, one of your towers is under threat as well from being First Blood Towered, so to speak. Like, this tower here is really low. So if I get this Herald, it's going to be easier to kind of rush and get the First Blood Tower. Um, also, note again how my recall here... Times very nicely with going for the bot side and farming this up. Even though I want to play mostly around top side and do stuff around top side and also use this Rift Held now, uh, bot, my bot farm is up. And as well, I know, like, I see this stuff here, but I'm not running to help because you've got to, first and foremost, to get your farm going. All right, get your farm going, get that going, get that working. So I'm farming my whole bot side jungle, going to take that stuff. I can give this next blue over to Oriana, though. I don't need to take that one. Uh, and then, that, you know, that's that's good. You know, that's what we want to do. Nice cheeky Ash Arrow there. Oh my goodness. That's beautiful. That's what we like to see. So now I can I should go mid here with a Rift Herald. That's what I 100% should be doing. I don't know why I blast coming over to the, to the blue buff. I was just on a bit of, like, autopilot mode there. But yeah, run to the, to the mid lane here. I don't even need to be there. Beautiful. But look, I invade the enemy's chickens, because why not? See if the science guy down there. And look who I find. I find Master Yi. So we, we push him off of... His chicken camp. Again, we're just starving this guy. I mean, he's still got 70 CS because he, we can't fully stop him from doing stuff, but we, we're stopping him as best we can. I'm 1,000 gold ahead of him. He, I guarantee you he does not want to be in this position right now. Even though he's still got 70 CS at 13 minutes, which is not terrible, but yeah. And again, look! I mean, just fully invading the top side. Just fully invading the top side here. If I, if I see him... Well, even if I don't see him, I just invade the top side. I don't know what Lulu's doing here. Lulu, why are you face checking me? I don't know. Still. Heal and flash gone. Beautiful. This means it, it, now if the enemy team comes to try and make a play around the top side, we're going to win guaranteed. Because Lulu can't do anything. So jumping in, swatting this Lux like a fly. Beautiful. 
and we win the top lane. That was a that was a three v two. Oriana, mate, I'm, I know you're here. Yes, you get you, you get like a silver participation star, but you didn't do anything there. We two v three that shit. It's all about invading top side, getting aggression. To be honest, I'm sounding like a broken record here, but a lot of it a lot of this comes down to uh, I don't know whether consistency is the right word, but kind of discipline and is consistency the right word? Maybe it is. Um, but just doing it and then not putting your foot off the pedal, you know? Just keep blasting them, all right? You've lubed up, don't walk away now, all right? So, another successful play in the top side, using the Rift Herald as well to get that first Blood Tower, which was good because we also lost this Bot Tower shortly after, so that nice that we got the first Blood Tower. Again, farming here now, don't forget to farm when there's a bit of downtime. Uh, but now the game gets a little bit more complicated because when this tower is down, the map opens up a little bit more. Uh, and also it's it's less <coughs> uh, it's less certain of when Master Yi is going to show up because they might even lane swap here, which is what they actually end up doing. They do lane swap here. So now it gets a little bit tricky knowing where to go and what to do. Uh, we definitely want to make a play around the Dragon though. This has been up for a while. I haven't played around bot side at all this game. But we want to try and get this... We want to try and get stuff around bot side now and get the dragon and stuff like that. So we're going for the dragon here. Uh, this one honestly is a little bit like we can just like group up a bit if we want to here as well. To be fair, Camille should probably be going bot side here. We should kind of just like rinse and repeat what we were doing before, but stick Camille bot side and then stick our bot lane top lane if that makes sense. Um, but either way, uh, again, I'm just invading here just 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 in case. I don't even know if there's anything to get here, but just in case there is, I'm going to be here. Uh, and plus Blitzcrank showed his face. Now we know there's two people topside. Uh, did we see Lulu there as well? Or am I crazy? No, we didn't see Lulu there. So we know there are people topside. Uh, at the very worst, this is a 3v3. Uh, and we can probably do this. So, let's do it. Now, I go for the aggressive pathing path here. I don't know. Blitzcrank's pathing path is a little bit less aggressive. But flash for flash, that's... Flash of Flash is never terrible, it's just, you know, what you think you're going to achieve with that Flash. I mean, I push off the tower here as well, so we get the tower. But, um, it's kind of like, eh. Because I'm fighting a lot, so maybe it's good for me to have that Flash. But if you've got, a, if you're on a mobile carry like Lux, you lose your Flash, you're so vulnerable. Uh, anyway. Uh, we got a little bit greedy topside. We gave a kill over to Master Yi. That's not what you want to do. But it's okay. My whole bot side is up, so I'm just going to go ahead and take all of this. Uh, I, I don't want to fall behind just like constantly following this guy around because that I, I can't just ignore my farm I still need to get some farm here. I know I'm playing around him, but I still need my own stuff uh, I don't think it's a mistake here to be going for my bot side jungle I mean if I were topside right now, I wouldn't really be able to achieve anything anyway, but uh, they're pushing mid So I'm gonna go hold mid as well uh, And after that I can probably maybe look topside if, if they were to still stay around uh, but honestly uh, we can't like, we're, there's three minutes until Baron spawns, and we're so far ahead this game, we definitely want to try go for an early Baron. But outside of that, what we're looking to do is to kind of group up, I guess, uh, with someone sitting bot side to try and take that, push these towers down. Because bot side is the only outer tower that's up. It's a free tower, we kind of need to take that. It'll be nice to take that. Uh, we also have the Ash Arrow, although, you know, sometimes it doesn't hit. Uh, <laughs> all the time. But, uh, you know, it's still... Good to group up for that stuff. Marcy gets a little bit greedy here because he's probably frustrated and tilted at this point. So we catch him with the Blitzcrank. We got such good catch. And and we were trying to invade the bot side jungle because his red buff just respawned. So if your red buff respawns, Marcy is going to want that shit. Just take his jungle. Just suffocate this guy. Don't let him have anything. Now we've done the hard work here. So I'm now going to uh, just slow the, fast forward most of this rather than slowing down. Uh, I'd like for Blitz to be grouping here. But he groups in a way that lets Lulu see him. But that's fine. Whatever, uh, and yeah, go for these free towers like this bot lane tower here, which is what I was just mentioning before. You really want to break, break open the map, take as many towers as we can. Uh, I recall here because I'm like, well, there's not really much point grouping. Uh, you know, it's it's four v it's four v four right now, but Marcy will respawn faster than Camille will. Uh, Camille does have TP, so maybe we could have stayed, but it's whatever. Because what I want to do now is I'm going to invade his blue buff. <laughs> as you can see, I just run straight into his blue. I've gone for the sweeper as well, by the way, guys. Sometimes I say with the warding totem, but sweeper is really good. Um, because it, it means that you can invade like this constantly, 24-7. And you can see where it's warded and where it's not warded. Because your invades do get thwarted quite heavily. 
versus uh, wards. So if you've got a sweeper, it's really, really nice. A nice invade here to get the blue buff. Uh, I'm kind of looking here, but I'm also looking at mid. Uh, I don't think my team realizes that I've not like gone with them here. Uh, so Blitzcrank dies a bit too early, then I jump in and this master is just like a raid boss, so... I mean, th this is like, Im this is him being weak as hell. Imagine if he was strong, by the way. This is why I have to be scared of this tactic. Um, but, good shit. Oriana finally gets in. Uh, he's able to land a shockwave. That's nice. Camille is is, a, is so strong at this stage of the game. Like, she just two shots most people. She basically just needs to use this uh, Oriana as bait. There's the quadra kill, misses the hill, but that's fine. Survives on a sliver of health and now can just get out of there. And that all's well that ends well, kind of. Four for three is not great considering we're so far ahead this game. If I were the enemy team, I wouldn't be sad about about a four for three, but uh, it could be worse. We'll put it that way. Uh, to be honest, part of that, that's just kind of poor awareness from uh, Blitzcrank and Ash to engage around up there, but also poor awareness for me to not be with my team uh, knowing not really realizing that they're just going for the uh, for the fight there. So yeah, just as much my fault as anyone else's. Now, I told you want to go for an early Baron. We're so far ahead of this game, we can do it. We have a high damage team as well. So let's go for it. Now, what you need to do if you're going for a Baron play is you need to suffocate the enemy team's vision. I'm using the word suffocate a lot. I should change it up. You need to make it so the enemy team can't breathe with vision. Uh, vision denial specifically. So get your sweeper, sweep a lot of stuff, get your pink wards, stick them down, and then have good vision in the areas where the enemy team might come uh, towards the Baron. So there's a ward here that chucks off. Get, we have vision of this. There was a ward here. So we have vision of you Marcy there. There's a ward here. So the, we, we're going to know if the enemy team comes in and they're not going to be able to see us. I mean, look at this. They, they couldn't see us on that shit at all. So beautiful stuff. Juicy grab right there. I have so much damage as well. It's crazy. Uh, but be good stuff. But Camille, again, mate. Got to be a little bit more careful with their buddy because we can still lose this game. All, all Marcy needs is a free kill, a few kills, and this game's over. Look how much damage he does. Crazy. But it's okay. We mop it up. Good stuff. Mop it up, mop it up, mop it up. Draven's not even here. If he was here, he'd probably just be another one who died as well. We've got Baron now, so let's push down mid. Get this, get this mid lane tower. Get this inhibitor. And then rotate topside because there's a big minion wave here. So just go with the go with the topside tower. Uh, sorry, topside minion wave. Go with the minion wave. Push this topside tower down as well. It's an outer tower. Sorry, inner tower. Uh, so we can take this and then just run away afterwards. Never mind. We're not going to take it because I respawn fast enough. I'm bad. Ignore me. If the if the if the death timers were longer. That would have been a good call. But I'm chatting shit. Ignore me. You guys are probably used to me now. You know that's how it goes down here anyway. Uh, item build by the way on Zinzel. This isn't really specifically a Zinzel like guide, which is why I haven't really mentioned my my like build or anything, but uh, they will be in the description, but my runes and masteries, I go 18, 12, 0 with further for battle. Masteries, 80 reds, attack speed quints, army lows, and MR blues, and item build, I like going war enchant, red smite, triforce, uh, and then tanky after that, or maybe a bit of damage, it kind of depends, but I'm going for the thorn mail this game, because their biggest damage threats are master Yi, maybe draven, but not really draven, but basically master Yi, for the thorn mail for master Yi. Now we have good catch, ash mate, whatever. Good grab by Blitzcrank. That's a kill. We can get what we want to get here. Holy moly. I take so much damage. So I'm just going to heal up a little bit from the jungle camps here. Use my smite. Use my passive. Get some stuff going down. We get another kill there as well. Good shockwave from Orianna. Now we can dive here really hard. So I've got my ultimate as well. So all I need to do. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. I'm going to show you this shit. Watch this shit. All I've got to do here is dodge a binding from Lux. Flash over the binding. Okay, never mind. If I flash over this binding, I probably get a double kill. Uh, yeah, I probably get a double kill. That's fine. I'm bad. So there we go. We get the picks. We got the Baron. That's the end of the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had the highest damage in the game, by the way, this game. Not even joking. Actually, Marcy had the highest damage still. I had the second highest damage in the whole game. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this, guys. Let me know what you thought about it. I hope you found it useful. A lot of pressure top side. This is what you got to do. And don't put your foot off that gas pedal. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye from me, goodbye from Shadow, and I will see you in my next video.